Welcome to the Know Yourself channel. We're making astrology known and understandable as the number one priority. I'm the Scottish astrologer and in this video I'm going to discuss the coming new moon slash black moon on October 30th or Halloween for some. Okay, which takes place in the 7th degree of Scorpio. Okay, now new moons are all about setting your intentions, goals, okay? For when a new moon comes, that's when you set intentions, goals on a certain matter, uh, depending on what sign it's in. And as this new moon, which is a black moon, as it's the second new moon in a calendar month, as it takes place in Scorpio, uh, it's a natural ruler of the 8th house, so this is all about death, transformation, the battleground. I don't mean set your intentions on killing anyone or anything. I mean like death of a part of yourself that you'd see as negative or death of a habit that's been holding you back, you know. Uh, so you can transform yourself for the better, you know. And it's you go through the battle through that, the battleground. It's a battle uh, changing for the better uh, or getting rid of an old habit that no longer serves you, etc. Okay, now, the intentions you set at this new moon on Halloween, uh, as it's a black moon, uh, the energies are most potent at that time uh, for your intentions uh, to come to fruition. Okay, and what happens is, the next full moon after that new moon is when uh, the intentions you set should be coming into fruition uh, or starting to make that move towards that goal fully okay uh, and as it's a super moon as well it's a second super moon okay uh, as it's a super moon it's going to be very potent uh, so it's a very good time for you to set your intentions at this new moon black moon uh, for it to come into a super moon okay it's good, great energies, okay? And it's in, it happens in Taurus, okay? 22 degrees of Taurus. Now, it's very interesting about this new moon, black moon, landing basically on Halloween or Halloween's Eve for some as well. Uh, in Scorpio, the house of death, transformation, etc. Because as I mentioned, uh, it doesn't have to mean death as in death, but literally it can mean that, okay? Uh, people need to understand that astrology is the biggest basis for magic, as is intention, okay? Intent. Uh, and people do use astrology and intent for certain negative purposes, okay? It can be used for either. It's neutral. Uh, like... There'll be a lot of rituals, etc., taking place on this day, okay? The Black Moon, Scorpio, Halloween. It's probably the best day for those people to do that, okay? So things will be going on. They will be trying to put out negative intentions regarding transformation, death, battleground, etc. As when it comes to a super moon, okay, when the intentions that are set during the ritual and these rituals, etc., do go on, there is people out there, dark people, who want to do dark things, okay? So this will happen, trust me. People will set dark intentions on this day. And when they come to fruition, okay, on the full moon, which is a super moon, November 14th, it, it's basically conjunct with the most evil star in the sky, okay, at 22 degrees of Taurus, which is Caput Algo, it's the most evil star in the sky, and it gives a bad omen, okay, some sort, uh, it's very peculiar that this new moon, black moon, in Scorpio, takes place on Halloween, or Halloween's Eve, uh, and it comes into fruition, their intentions are set on that day, with a super moon, okay, conjunct basically with the most evil star in the sky, okay, this is like a evil bad intention uh, ritual dream for this to happen, okay, uh, 
I worry, I worry about the day, November 14th, okay, uh, for this, the second supermoon of the year, I really do, uh, as everything I just mentioned, okay, there is dark people out there, this day will be used for certain dark rituals, uh, which is all, it's all about magic, where some people can laugh, not believe about it, but trust me, it goes on, okay, uh, People will be setting intentions uh, for dark ends, okay? And it's usually the most powerful people who are involved in all this stuff, okay? It does go on, you need to check it out. Uh, I'm not saying everybody does this, but it does go on, trust me. Uh, research it yourself, you'll find out it does go on. So it's worrying how I deal a day uh, and the day with intentions come to fruition, how ideal both these days are for dark intentions is ridiculous, it's scary and it's a day you need to watch for. I may be wrong, nothing may happen uh, November 14th, okay, with the second supermoon of the year in Taurus conjunct the most evil fixed star in the sky, but it's something everyone needs to look out for pay attention to, be cautious, I'm not saying anything's going to happen, but it may, uh, like, just to an individual, like maybe a famous individual, something may happen, like, something bad, you know, that's, everyone will know about on that day, you know, if it will, it may not, but I do worry about this day, uh, you can ignore everything I've said about the bad stuff about this particular new moon, black moon and full super moon uh, conjunct this fixed star. You can just ignore it if you want. Just go with what I say about setting your intentions uh, for the better of yourself with transformation, uh, death of an old way, an old bad habit, transforming yourself for the better and going through the battleground to conquer that bad habit or bad aspect of yourself that no longer serves you, you know, uh, just go with that, if you want to ignore everything else I said, that's fine, but I do urge you just to please pay attention for November 14th, because it's too weird how it just lines up so perfectly for people who would want bad intentions uh, for humanity, that's all I'm saying, I'm not trying to scare anyone, uh, I just say what I see, uh, and it's pretty strange it lines up this way, okay? So, thanks guys, thanks for watching, big shout out to all my new subscribers, truly appreciate that. Uh, please do share this video, like if you like. Again guys, thanks for watching.